Hi, Ashley here, founder of Oak and Ash. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Becca Fold and Go Loom. This is the Becca Fold and Go Loom with a 20 inch width. You will get two apron rod dowels. The back crossbar beam is shorter and the front crossbar beam is longer. A warp beam, the longer crossbar beam and the longer cloth beam go on the front side of the loom. The shorter ones go on the back side of the loom and you'll have two tie cords, one for the front, one for the back, and then it also comes with one eight dent huddle that is at a 20 inch width, two different size stick shuttles, one pickup stick, and then a hook that's for warping the loom. Step one, you'll take your half moon and a screw and you will attach them to the loom in this small hole and they're on the same side as the gear piece on the beam. So on the front and the back sides, you will have one of these half moon pieces attached. Screw it in almost all the way. You don't want it to be too tight because you wanna make sure that this can move around. And then, so you'll attach the other one to the backs of the beam on the same side because this will be the side that the gear is on the warp beam beam. So the front side of the beam just has the one piece where you attach the half moon piece and this corresponds with the front, this is the fabric beam and then on the back side you've got the shed block and this is where the huddle fits in. You will have attached a half moon piece that corresponds with the warping beam on the back side of the loom. Step two is attaching the side pieces. The back part will go on top of the front part. You put the bolts on the inside and then one washer and one knob. So you'll put the dowel in on the inside, screw this in, help keep the dowel in place. So this dowel, putting that in place, will help this from staying straight and not overextending. Then you'll do the exact same on the back. One bolt, one washer, and one knob. I'm putting the dowel through this in. The next step is inserting the front cloth beam and the back warp beam into these holes. The gear and the half moon piece on the same side goes in there. And then you do the same on the back. To secure the loom in place, we'll put a crossbar beam on both the front and the back. The front side is the longer side, and so you put the notch side down, screw. Do the same thing on the back, then flip it over to expose the large dowel holes on the bottom side of the loom. So on both sides, you'll fit the dowels in and they fit nice and snug but then you'll want to screw this into the dowel and this just ensures that they won't come out. The last piece into place, you flip it back over so it's right side up. For the front and the back, you have an apron rod and cord. And depending on the type of project you're doing, so you'll be inserting it into the holes and tying it to the apron rod. And then this is what you attach your yarn to and it helps you adjust the tension for when you get started. But depending on the type of project, you might only need to do so many or you might have to wind the cord through the whole thing. The huddle that comes with it, which is an eight dent huddle and it's 20 inches wide. And this would be your down shed once it's warped and then it fits nicely up here for your up shed. And there are two notches so you can comfortably fit two huddles on the loom and do a two huddle project. So the main feature of this loom is that it folds and it can fold if you don't have a project on it, it's great for storing. It makes it smaller to store. And you can also fold it with a project on it. And that just helps it so you can transport it better. And then tighten the knobs and it will stay nice and secure.